Looks like we're just going straight there. So this is the last island. Whoa! Oh, God! This is a huge contrast from the last island! Oh, I guess it has an ambiance befitting of a final island. No kidding! Look at this place! It's kind of disgusting, and Monokuma's everywhere! Why is Monokuma everywhere? Oh, no! No, I do not like this place! Oh, what? I almost completely missed this. Sea King Industries. I just want to... I just want to look at this real quick. We got Sea King Industries. Let's see, what do we have here? Helicopters, tanks, a military base! Uh-oh. A lot of deadly stuff in there. Look at all the factories in the background. Oh my god! A factory with a giant Monokuma head. Okay. Vendor Street. Keep that in mind, and that's... that is it. Four places we can go to. Uh, let's start with Sea King Industries. Man, look at this place! <gasps> oh, wow! Look what they're making down there! That's not good. Looks like they're making a mono beast down there. Do you know this place? Huh? Electronic insulation and other machine parts. Biggest corporation on Jabberwock Island. Hmm. So a group of 100 people dealing in mechanics is the biggest working force on Jabberwock Island. I know! As we said, this is like something out of a sci-fi movie. It's really kind of futuristic. Uh. Think we could find out more about this place? This is kind of interesting, really. Yeah, not the size of the company. Look what they're making! What's going on? <laughs> Don't look behind you. Oh, my. Yeah, I don't like what they're making here. Especially if it has a swirling keep-out LED display. Oh, yeah, we're going to investigate this place. No worries about that. Let's take a look around here. Oh! Look at that in the background. Found ya. Huh? Are you serious? A little bit of a cyborg, Monokuma. And I'm almost maxed out on coins. That's hilarious. I've never actually done that before. Well, we actually don't have a lot of stuff to look at, so take a look at the camera. See what Hajime has to say about this. That's so sick! They're enjoying our suffering! Well, I mean, it's... I would say it's more for ambiance. Actually seeing your opponent is more threatening. But then again... Only hearing a voice gives it more mystery. Yeah, it pisses me off, too. One thing I want to check real quick, since I've been walking around for a while. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're growing this piece of shit monomy. What do we got down here? Oh, my God! What is it making? Yeah, kind of a mannequin, and... Oh, that's weird! Maybe... Yeah, are they making robots here? I mean, I know, based on what I can see just in the background, but are they making, like, human robots? That's kind of a scary thought! If they can mass-produce robots that look like humans. <laughs> I have no idea, dude. I mean, if you can figure a way to make something good out of all this, by all means. 
Oh, that's an interesting thought. What if his mechanical body was made here? That was close. It's possible. Just think about it. They had all the parts here. Made him damn near destructible. Indestructible. Hey, hey, hey! I... Don't ask me. I have no idea. This is all new to me. I don't like it. Well, they certainly got the future in Future Foundation. Is there anything else? No, it's just that four in Kazuichi. All right. Machine. Machines making other machines? What year is it? Four-legged animal. That's what I don't like about this. Hey, hey. Mm-hmm. The Mana Beasts. Maybe. That would make sense. Not only are they creating humanoid robots, they're also creating the Mana Beasts here. Fine, fine. Oh, thanks for the clarification. What? All right, you got a point there. Bye-bye! <laughs> Thanks for explaining your game. There's something wrong with you. Yeah, I know, it's... <laughs> I, I, I kind of try to understand Monokuma, but most of the time it's just white noise. <sighs> What's going on? And yet, they are using those machine parts to build robots. Well, think about it. This is an isolated area. There are no humans around here. And even when it was a tourist trap, they probably could have still done it in secret. They just need to block off Island 5. Ooh, that's another good theory. What if Monokuma, when he took over completely revamp this island. I mean, it kind of makes sense because there's a building with a giant Monokuma head, but I'm just thinking beforehand. Before that adjustment happened, what if he just overtook this island first, made it his own, and, oh, wow, revamp this place to not make machine parts but to make robots. <laughs> He's surrounded by technology. What's the ultimate mechanic going to do? Step out of it, idiot! Huh? Get a hold of yourself! Just because you're surrounded by technology, you gotta take it apart, right? <laughs> what do you mean, childish? Yeah, explain. Hey. What'd you find, man? What did you find? <gasps> Ooh, unencrypted emails. What do you got, man? What'd you find? <laughs> oh, it wasn't actually serious or pertaining to anything. You know... Maybe something like that isn't out of the realm of possibility. Tell me what it was. What is this delusional story? I gotta hear this now. You got me interested. Yeah, what was written in that email? I'll start with the idea for the story. Apparently, global riots are occurring in various regions around the world. Hmm. And these riots were caused by high school students. No, that's not realistic at all. Yeah. So these riots just keep growing as people grow more dissatisfied and frustrated with society. Until eventually, it spreads like an infectious disease all over the world. Hmm. Footage of the riots start getting circulated, and strange incidents start occurring one after another. A hopeless anxiety instantly spreads throughout the world, as the end of the world gets closer and closer. End of the world, you say? 
<laughs> End of the world, you say. Hey. Yeah, yeah. I mean, high school students starting riots and eventually ending up in the end of the world. Yeah, yeah, and just global domination caused by riots and eventually causing the end of the world. <laughs> Don't you dare delete that. That is my favorite story. Don't delete it. I was going to send that to a publisher. Doesn't have a title yet, but... Mm. It sounds unbelievable, but then again, look what situation we're in. Yes, Kazuichi. That may be out of the realm of possibility, but then you gotta realize, we've been taken hostage on an island by a mechanical bear. Of course not! Holy shit! I love you! That is an amazing reference! Now I just want to watch that! And don't call me Kira. Please don't tell me. It's just one person writing in a notebook and offing people. In very peculiar ways. It's a little more clear. I don't like what's going on here, but at least we know what's going on. Uh. I would agree with that. It might have been part of the hostile takeover. I see. God, he's like he's reading my mind. Was it just for shock? Or were there ulterior motives? That's right. This is bad. It would be kind of messed up, but why would they do it to one of their own rich kids? They off the ultimate affluent progeny. You know, now that I think about it, that really is fucked up. I really hope that's not the case. Hey, hey, hey! Uh, well, yeah, I agree. That's a terrible assumption, and nobody wants that to be correct. I mean... It's all been a ruse by rich perverts who love death. Yeah, work of fiction. That'll never happen. Yeah, let's uh, let's not think about that until proven otherwise. Kazuichi, this place was absolutely enlightening. We got to learn a lot about this, and uh, keep that email in mind. Don't delete it. Just uh, forward it to me. I kind of want to read it again, just to make sure I didn't lose any subtext. Next on the list is the military base, the Jabberwock Army. Okay. Helicopters, missile launchers, tanks, jeeps. What, what is going on here? Yeah, that's an honest to God tank. Wait a minute, what's that? You see that little symbol there? the Hope's Peak Academy crest. Yeah, there's a lot of dangerous stuff around here. Jeez. Oh, hello. Huh. I knew you could do it. Already got two out of five. Just do a quick check of the pet here since I was walking. God, you shit a lot. Anyway, oh, we've got hot spots for days. 
Uh, let's... Uh, let's try left or right. Military-grade truck. Kazuichi, we have a way to get off the island. Use these parts. Damn it, we didn't get our license. Well, I mean, you could try. Won't get very far, but <laughs> A for effort. That's a lot of RPGs. Oh my god, there are so many weapons. Is that a chain gun in the background? Anti-tank rockets. <laughs> Just throw it in the back of a truck. Something I expect from something like GTA. This is the thing I wanted to look at closer. There's a small picture of Monokuma there, but it looks like it's mirrored for some strange reason. Maybe it wasn't supposed to be there. And, uh... We've also got the Hope's Peak Crest on there. Very small, you can barely see it. But apparently Hajime is not going to think anything of it. Let me guess, same thing? Yep, same thing. Not even going to look at the camera, it's going to say the exact same thing. Oh, and it's not going to let us do the <laughs> anti-air missiles. And how about the helicopter? This is the same helicopter Monokuma used to execute Teru Teru. And they're good, they bring it up. Yeah. Wow. So Monokuma didn't just pull that out of nowhere. It was on the final island. Did you just kick the helicopter? Um. I done did a stupid. Yeah, that's that's a good one. You just punch straight steel. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? You punch the helicopter and it explodes? You are not Joe Star. We've got a few more to talk to. Akane, you're the closest to the helicopter. You think this is boring? All this weaponry? <laughs> There's a freaking tank! You. Oh, so you're not impressed by these guns? Obviously. No, oh, Minimaru actually responds to stimuli. Huh. Oh, hell yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> I didn't read that wrong. No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> She's aware of her own devices. Uh, that, that was funny, Akane, but please stop tempting me. Um. Well stocked, too. Have you taken a look around everywhere? Did you take an RPG for yourself? Yeah, I've noticed that too. This entire set of islands of Jabberwock is, is small in comparison to, like, let's say, a country. But, wow, they even have a full-fledged military base. Yeah, I can see that. Seven students running towards Future Foundation with RPGs and machine guns in hand? That would actually be kind of awesome. Well, it's not that hard to operate a gun. You point it in the right direction, click the shoot button. Huh? Well, do you know how to use these weapons? Whoa! Dude! Your country does not mess around! Yeah, no problemo! <laughs> when they're one year old, it's like, okay, here's your first grenade. Do it right, or you'll never do it right again. Um... No fooling. Modern warfare in the lowest grades. Your country is awesome! Hmm. Interesting quote. A nice way to look at it. I am concerned. 
I also agree with that. Only with an operator does a weapon become a weapon. I don't think I could honestly pull the trigger on an RPG. I think the kickback would probably kill me. Please wait. Hmm? Um. <gasps> Good, more information. You should see what Kazuichi found. You should pay attention to him for that one. Uh-oh. The Jabberwock Island Development Plan. However... Well, Ostentatious is Monokuma's middle name. I would think so. If it has the Future Foundation logo, I kind of want to read it. I mean, he's left us clues before, but this is kind of a big deal. What do you got, Sonya? Um... What? But it does document Jabberwock Island's redevelopment plan at considerable length. That's good, we need this! To place Jabberwock Island under the Future Foundation's control and prepare it as central headquarters. Jabberwock Island is the headquarters for Future Foundation. Yeah, it should have been a tourist trap. And then everybody vanished, so is that part of the revampment? Um. Yes, the more information the better. Let's hear it. The travel agency that managed Jabberwock Island went bankrupt, so the island was uninhabited. That's why it's no longer a tourist trap. The island was unaffected by the incident, which allowed them to easily gain a foothold. What incident? Go back to that part. Hold on. Uh, rewind. That's actually a good point, Hajime. If there's been nobody around here, how is this island upkept? Yeah, uh, thank you. Supermarket, always stocked. Hotel, clean. All the cottages and everything, well kept. This entire island seems like it has a full-fledged staff at all times. Is Future Foundation keeping us in good spirits, I guess? Good. Let's let's learn about that incident. I need to know this. Um. Shoot, we need more info. Please, tell me. Do you remember the guidebook to Jabberwock Island in the library? Yes, I do. It's been a while. Central Island houses a large administrative building, but we didn't see that. We just saw the statue. Yeah, yeah. Was it just a fluke? building that the Future Foundation is planning to use for their headquarters. Hmm. Um. They are planning to rebuild it and use it as the Future Foundation's headquarters. So the administrative building that should have been there on the Middle Island was going to be the HQ of Future Foundation. Yeah. The building is supposed to be there, but right now it's just a statue representing Jabberwock Island. But according to that, they were going to repurpose that whole building to be HQ. But it's not there. Um, okay. Perhaps. There's so many inconsistencies on this island. Yeah, I'll say. Still plenty of mysteries to solve. I think if we solve the mystery of the island, we'll be more well prepared for the rest of the mysteries. Well, this was actually very enlightening. 
I still can't believe there's a military base of all things. What else do we have around here? That's a huge military base, holy crap. Oh my god. Look at that giant Monokuma head. I'm thinking next time on Danganronpa 2, we're gonna search the rest of the final island. There's two more places we need to go. Hopefully we'll find out more. Because what we have learned now... Theories. All over my brain. Trying to figure out what's been going on here. So I will see you guys next time.